it did. Would you like a share button? Oh, all right. The March 6 minutes look all right, don't they? Mm -hmm. Do we need a copy of the 20th and the 27th, correct? I think we have them here. Is it a corrected copy? Yeah, you put it This is all I have. Do you need copies of the 20th and 27th? No. Do you have them? No. No, you don't have them? No, I don't. Okay.
something? Lubarki? I don't know. Which? Which copy? All of them. All of them. Uh, uh, over those two. We did the last week. Thank uh, you. Appreciate it. Yeah, gotta read the subtitle. So. Motion to accept what the uh, 20th and 27th. And March 6th. We've already did March 6th, that one. No, he didn't approve March 6th. What is today's date? 13th. I thought I made that motion a while ago. I apologize. I might have done it in my head. Okay. <laughs> so it's a motion by Jeff to approve the March 6th, 27th, and February 20th. Minutes. I'll second that motion. Uh, uh. We're asking about that. I'm sure somebody will come over here and give us a okay. count of anything. Yes, I Well, uh, over the last several months, uh, our office has looked at the possibility of uh, becoming involved in litigation to sue uh, manufacturers and distributors of opioids. Uh, there has been, I'm sure you've seen in the news, a, a large problem in our uh, nation and region with um, opioid addiction and overdoses. Several counties in our region have already <coughs> initiated litigation, uh, Union, Johnson, Pulaski, Alexander, Hardin, uh, are some of the ones in our area that have already begun this effort. I, of course, have been looking at it for several months. Uh, one of the concerns I had about our county joining in was the cost of litigation. Uh, the law firm that is uh, involved with those other counties and I had contacted myself and had expressed an interest in handling these cases for Massac County. We were able, uh, through negotiation and perhaps even exploring other alternatives, to bring those costs down from their initial uh, quoted rate. Uh, initially, they were one and a third of any recovery, and now we're at 25% uh, is what the agreement would be. I guess the uh, most important thing we could do is talk about why this would be necessary. Um, again, I, I think everyone's aware that there in the nation, in our region and county, an issue with opioid addiction. And opioids are Lortabs, Vicodin, Percocet. Uh, they all fall under the opioid classification. Uh, the theory behind the, the litigation is that the pharmaceutical industry has, uh, through advertising, uh, downplayed the uh, serious risk of addiction. They have made exaggerated claims that opioid dependence and withdrawal can be easily managed. And they have falsely claimed benefits of long-term opioid use. And that has led to people using uh, opioids that may not need to use them or using them for longer periods of time than they need to, which can result in addiction and then other societal problems, not only for that person, but uh, the community as a whole. And there's also uh, 
investigation has shown that uh, distributors may have turned a blind eye uh, towards suspicious drug orders and failed to report things uh, as they were required to report to the DEA, for instance. So as it relates to our county, just to give you an idea, uh, the last year we have in 2016, the prescribing rate in 2016 for the United States was 66.5 prescriptions for every 100 people. That's the United States as a whole for opioids. For Massac County, it was 149.3 prescriptions per every 100 people in the county. Now our county is kind of in the middle of the pack in our region. Uh, the highest is Hardin County, which is 239. Uh, so just give you an idea of where they stand. Uh, Johnson County is much lower, it's 29.8. So we fall between those two. So one of the important things I think to know is, I talked about the fee. Um, there is, if there is no recovery, if, if lawsuit is initiated and there is no recovery, the lawsuit fails or for whatever reason doesn't produce uh, a recovery for the county, there is no fee that the county would owe to these attorneys. And also, uh, pursuant to the agreement, no public funds would be required to pay these attorneys. They would be paid solely out of whatever they receive from the litigation. Now, what would be the point or the goal of litigation? Well, there are several costs that the county has incurred over time as a result of the opioid crisis that we would hope to recover. Uh, starting here locally or in the county itself would be the cost of employee insurance. And sometimes that causes additional costs or uh, money we pay out of pocket for uh, employee insurance. Our costs for law enforcement and public safety in the court system with this issue has caused additional people to be incarcerated, more law enforcement officers, law enforcement time, and then of course the costs in the court system. And then also uh, costs of treatment for people who are addicted. Uh, now, if, one thing I would like to see is if this is successful, I, I don't think it's going to be uh, a great boon to the county budget or the county general fund, but I would hope that there would be efforts made to provide more treatment opportunities for people in our county who are facing addiction. But right now we're limited locally. A lot of people have to travel out of state to get long-term treatment. Uh, and we have Massac County Mental Health, which provides outpatient treatment, but there really is limited <coughs> resources for inpatient treatment in our region and obviously in our county. It's unknown yet what would result from this. Is it could be uh, monetary damages, money paid to the county, or it could be an agreement that the distributors and manufacturers uh, provide actual treatment facilities or help fund grants for treatment facilities. Uh, that will come with time. But I think we should join in with other counties and, and make this effort. And I think we've been able to bring the cost of the litigation down where it would be worthwhile for us to do so. Now our situation is a little unique in a county in that uh, we kind of share a dual role. The state's attorney State Attorney's Office has the opportunity to sign on with a law firm uh, to initiate this effort, but they and I would want the County Board to approve a resolution basically saying that you support this effort, you feel it's necessary, and would uh, essentially support the moving forward with the lawsuit. So I had uh, presented, there's a resolution, and then attached to the resolution is the agreement with the attorney which spells out the costs um, and the agreement of how fees would be to, um, paid and the amount to be paid. The counties that have already gotten involved are uh, Pulaski, Alexander, Union, Johnson, Williamson, Saline, Galton, Hardin. Okay. So uh, pretty much everyone in the southern uh, part of the state. 
you know, I, I think as I said before, I, one of the reasons why this has not been brought to you sooner is I felt like what the attorneys were wanting as far as the fee was too high. I wanted yeah. to negotiate that down. And I also explored other opportunities um, to see if there were other law firms that would be able to handle this litigation. And uh, this is so specialized that there really aren't any. I hope also that the Attorney General's office, uh, in some states, the Attorney General takes on the lawsuit and handles it. Uh, that's not occurring in Illinois. Uh, it's not, not anticipated to occur. Of course, there are some risks with that because if the Attorney General handles it, then each individual county loses the ability to manage their case. Um, but that would also reduce the cost. But you know, that is not a, an option. Uh, the Attorney General's office is not taking that on. What does uh do you have to know what our local health providers think of possible litigation? Or? I don't. I'm not spoken with them. And I will say that the issues that are being raised are not with local doctors or, or pharmacies. That's not the issue. Uh, the issue is with the manufacturers and distributors. They're the ones that have provided the advertising <clears throat> and basically pushed uh, these drugs into the market uh, at a at a rate that is uh, alleged to be irresponsible because they, they're the ones that know how many prescriptions are being uh, filled in a given area. Doctors often don't. There isn't uh, an adequate, at this, this time, an adequate tracking system. And pharmacies obviously are just following uh, what the doctors, what doctors are prescribed. Yeah. So it's up to the manufacturers <clears throat> and distributors uh, to address the issue. I guess we need to vote on that. Yeah. Do it now. Uh, motion? Uh, I'll make a motion to, to go into. If, if you would, yeah. I'm sorry, you're up with a law firm. You can mm -hmm. just make a motion to approve that resolution, though, you can do it. Okay. I'll make that motion. I'll second that. All those in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. Those are just for you to review. Okay. It's, the, it's the same thing, but they're different ones. Yeah. The assignment have one you to sign. Mm -hmm. you keep one and then I'm gonna for records. I guess we need a prior resolution now. We're gonna take that to in for that. Yeah. Okay. We'll get it recorded and filed away. And I'll just leave one with her, would that be fine? Yep.
you all. Thank you. Days a week, we get busy. Nick has to have help. You know, I have to take two deputies and run them back and forth to court. But, you know, it's, it's working out. I mean, issues of equipment over there. I think so. Get down. Cars all done away. Suppliers that John said he was having trouble making repeated orders on stuff he needs. It. Supplier has told John he was cut off. Maybe it was the plumbing supplies. You still need stuff on that plumbing? I mean, we got a person that can do some. That's what we need the supplies. Yeah. Get some stuff knocked out. How much more in supplies do you need? I'll have to honest have John call and okay. Which one is that? Which company? Probably supplier works. Just not on the highlighted ones, but that's usually where he gets his stuff from. Mm -hmm. I think we paid them some just last week. Okay, yeah. well, that might yeah. be. Yeah, because he called over and said they were going to cut us off. And uh, that was part of that I see, 28, I see a bill for $59 <coughs> and 123 at the top of the second page. Yeah. It's the oldest one I see. 
On the third page, there's one for $1,256. Okay. So is that a courthouse? So that was done for the courthouse, I guess? Probably. Uh, in the annex, I know they've been working on some stuff up there. I don't want Buddy in front of you. It's a hot seat today, Don't let it burn you. Huh? That's a hot seat today. Don't let it burn you. Okay. okay. Whatever. Y'all don't scare me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't figure we did know the yeah, who's you got to work with. <laughs> Seventy-two, I think it was. They agreed to. Well, I'm saying the county agreed to uh, do this old county road. We never had it taken off. It was <coughs> old county road that wasn't passable. And it's never been done. This one wants it done. There's a map in there, too. You know, that sounds like something that's interesting. I might want to look at. Okay. I just wonder if he got one so he'd know. I see Danny or looked at it. I couldn't really figure out where it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just let Joe talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you have information. We have information. Good. He at the bridge today. He is. Mm -hmm. How's that progressing? Good. Thank you. On Facebook page. Oh, we got a Facebook oh, page. Yeah, nice yeah. Liked it yesterday. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, they poured an abutment yesterday. He thought it was going along good. According to his comment, yeah. That could be dangerous having a Facebook page. You don't always get the comments you may see. I know, but we don't care. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's there for information. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, go read the comments. Right. <laughs> Off Very few times you get a compliment on when the county does something. I mean, police or anybody, they just. Yeah, you know. okay. <laughs> it's progress being made, though. That's right. You gotta have thick skin out where you live, don't you? What else is the county workers up to right now? I'm not sure. Just. Um, you know, I don't get there to learn, and they're yeah. all gone, so yeah. I usually don't ask. You know. I don't think they have anything big going on. So. I guess I have to go back and maybe clean up those roads a little bit that were flooded. There's a lot of trash on all those roads. Corn stalks. Litter. So many people litter, it's terrible. I know. What if all the roads are clear now? The water's got off all the 
Um, I, I don't know. Well, this Mass Lake Creek Road signs were taken down yesterday. Jake, you been to Hawaii? Yes. <laughs> What's that got to do? Did you know? <laughs> huh? Okay. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with this. Well, um, okay. Just hang on. Okay. Hang on. Are the roads flooded there? Yeah. Oh. Well, not the lower. But uh, <laughs> did you notice how clean? You talking about that debris? Yeah. Stuff? It rained. I know it rained over there every morning about 4 a.m. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, no secret about it. No. It's really unusual what it's looked like. Well, I, mean, I guess since they're on the island, they I, well, they have a lot of pride and keep everything clean. Uh, yeah, I'm sure, you know, tourists are mostly, but yeah. Which island? The big island? Yes. The big ones. Is that Honolulu? That's Hawaii. I don't know. I don't know. I was on Oahu, and that was the same. There's well, a lot of military bases there, but it was very clean. Yeah. Have you ever been Lee? Mm -hmm. Nice guy. Yes. It's a long drive out there, though. It is. <laughs> My arm's that tired. <laughs> yeah. You drove to Hawaii? <laughs> yeah. I flew. So he was saying there's a long time now. Sometimes I'll say stuff just to see me pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a while for your body to adjust yeah. to the time. Oh, it's, yeah. it's like eight hours mm -hmm. difference or something that seemed like. Well, it's six from. It's only one of six? Yeah, it's because it's three to the coast and then another three to Hawaii. Okay. I knew it took me a while to get adjusted. Okay. Same amount of difference. You can too. It's one of them been there, done that. Yeah. I go back, you know. Oh, there's those little shores on. Exactly. <laughs> it's about the same drive. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know with my kids behind me in that seat, it may not be better just to. Yeah. Fly I'd, for I'd rather fly for 12 hours than yeah. drive for six with the kids behind me. Kicking your seat. Are we there yet? <laughs> We're just going all over the bridge to be digging. Yeah. Well, there's always cough medicine. Did your arm reach back there? Uh, Except there's always cough medicine. <laughs> Not while the camera's asleep. running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Davis, how are you, sir? You doing fine. Don't have to be a stranger. You come back and see us. Yeah. You got Look, no, you know what? Don't run off. Yeah, We're going to talk about your dress attire here. Um, he's just casual he's, I guess it is every day. Look at it, he's got a hole in the knee. Is that from sandbagging? I'm like, I hope you're getting that on camera. This man has been working hard for the community. I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> you're scared. <laughs> he used to come in here dressed as mine. Now he's wearing jeans with holes in the knee. <laughs> That's the style, though. Well, I guess it have is. Hair and grips and yeah. Yeah. I, I, for I used Trump to get, like. make fun of at school for wearing stuff like that. Showing your age. Lee, I heard a nasty rumor about you the other day. I heard you were leaving us soon. Is that yep, true? That's the truth. You know, this might be the last time you come in here. That's why Could I brought be. it up. Good day. When are you returning? October 6th. My birthday. Okay. That's right. I will miss you. Well, thank you. I guess we have a big retirement party, another good meal out there. I... <laughs> You're gone, gone, huh? I'm gone. We're going to have to have a party for you. Well, I, I decided Part I was going to tell is, Joe is just to get me a gift card somewhere to eat, and I'll just go eat by myself. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, problem is, you're the one who gets all that together. You're kind of bad for you exactly. to have to do your own with it. Exactly, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm good, though. I don't want to. It's your birthday. It's your gift to yourself, huh? Mm -hmm. So you're working that day, or 
the fifth is when you're going. Actually, I don't work on Friday, so actually the fourth will be my last day, but <laughs> I had to put the sixth because that's when I turn 60 and that's when you can start drawing your IMRF or when I want to start drawing your IMRF. It, it is tough. Well, I hope we get to see you again before that. You just never know. He may be still on the bridge in two weeks. I may be back. You yeah, never know. Awesome. I was just going to bring it up just in case. I don't get to see you again. <coughs> you talking about the Ohio River Bridge? Is that the bridge you're talking about? No. No, just a local county bridge. Yeah. Uh, it's on uh, Mark around Marmette somewhere, Marmette Road, or I'm not even sure where it's at. I bet it is Marmette Road. Yeah, I think that's right. You look at the on our Facebook page. I will. I didn't know you had one until yeah. just now. She's pushing that. Yeah. I'm going to. Uh -huh. trying to get 100 friends by the end of the week or what? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's been on there for... Oh, has it? Uh, I'm not sure when yeah. it did. It's been since, because it must have been in January. Oh, yeah. Because it has a snow picture oh, okay. on there. Well, no That's one knows right. about it. That's why. Good well, to see you. Okay. We'll see Good to see y'all. Thank you. Pass the news around. Jennifer, if you read that, you want to pass it on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm out. See you first. Okay. signs there okay so it's kind of hard to give instructions to people to come out to the house mm -hmm. i live at 67 kruger lane yes uh and uh also i was wanting to know who is responsible for that road that i live on because it is horrible to live on that road especially when it rains because it washes out and has huge ruts and wondered about that. The moral things probably Joe can address next week if we can either write him down and address him or uh, get him to call. Well, you I can't be here next week. This right. is the only day I can. I, sure. I, I am a, um, I have a couple of businesses. Ultrasound PRN is one, and I am going to be in Madisonville, Kentucky, at Bacchus Health High Risk of Beauty. Mm -hmm. So I do uh, several. I am registered to several imaging modalities. So. I'm, a special uh, imaging specialist, yeah. radiography, ultrasound, echo, vascular, uh, high risk OB. So I'm going to be there until May 25th. That contract's up then. Mm -hmm. So um, I won't be able to be back. And, and the reason I'm here is my husband is um, convalescing. He had surgery in Vanderbilt <coughs> last Thursday. So he's I'm able to leave him for a couple hours. So yeah. Um, that's why I'm here because, right. well, I wanted to educate myself on all the stuff that goes on in the county because I've been here three years now, mm -hmm. and uh, the first three years didn't count because two years I was taking care of my mother in Florida and then taking care of everything, her estate, and because she passed in 2016 in September. So it took a long time to get back with the living. So I wanted to come today because I wanted the road out there to be addressed because that country club road I, I just love driving on that road sure and they did a great job and it yeah. could be done on some of those other roads well um would you mind to make a list and write it down with your name and number on it? i certainly will I, I can take it out there if you uh you want us to give you a paper and pen? Yeah. And yeah. Right well, in? How big a paper do you want? I have how a big paper. A, how big of a list do you have? Yeah. <laughs> I only have a few, but yeah. a, a Just larger paper, paper might be better. Need. One inch can she borrow your paper? I don't have a nice plan of here more or whatever. Okay, I'll just I'll just use a, a bigger paper because this little one might okay. get lost. And I'll give you something. There you are. Thank you, sir. We'll give it to the proper person and have you call it back. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm leaving my card here. Okay. Because I, I, I'm also a, a business owner. I'm a 
independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay. That's my fun job. Okay. I've been with that for 18 Get years. Get your pink Cadillac? I have a blue Cadillac. Yeah. Well. Yes, I have a very kind, generous husband yeah. who bought me that two months after my mother died. Oh, okay. So it was a very kind thing for him to do. Yes, it was. And if I earn a pink Cadillac, I'll drive that one too. Well, sure. I <laughs> didn't drive the blue. I love my blue one. Yeah. Down there for the meeting. Uh, Skinner was in the break for me down there. And I told him that we'd get with him if y'all were pregnant. We get four or five lights up there or something. Is he working on something? Is there no lights up there now? Unless I don't know where to turn them on, and he was up no, there. No, there's not any. Why well, the heck was in jail? Well, that's coming in. Well, I mean, there may be lights at one time, but the, so was, at night time there wasn't no sun coming in there. No, unless they had a special one. I'm sure they had lights at one time, but they don't have anymore. Have any since I've been here? Was he down there working on something today, or is he just? I don't know what he's doing there. But I told him I have to get a person, you know, you guys, to, to do it. We don't have to do it right now, but. People go up there, you know, with a box and stuff. And I didn't see that rascal. <coughs> well, I was. You, he, he must have left as I did. Well, I guess he don't like me. He must have seen him. He said, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I guess get on the list. I don't know what to say. Um, I, that, that, the, <coughs> the block guy finished up with a flash spot up there. That's why I, I think. That's how he knew he was doing a good job. He yeah, that's true. It wasn't coming through, I guess. So, you get time when you need to do that and talk about it and whatever you do. Ma'am, which road did you say you lived on again? Uh, Kruger Lane. Kruger Lane. Okay. 67 Kruger Lane. We bought Amon and Marilyn White's uh, home. Little White House is very cute. I like it. Yeah. Out in some pretty country. Love it up there. Lots of deer. There is that. Got to be real careful when you're driving. He's a much better silk shirt he won't ever dress up no more, will <laughs> I do the body from head to toe in ultrasound. I started out in x-ray 1974. And then from there I went to CAT scan, I did the heart casts, I did um, I did some MRI, but that's boring, I didn't like that. And um, then from there I went to ultrasound abdomen, OBGYN, vascular, adult echo, fetal echo, and nuchal translucency. So I can do anything except the lungs because you can't see through air with ultrasound. Or with something else don't in there, you might be able to see in there. Though. We do use it to drain fluid off, to locate the fluid and stuff like that. But it, like bone and air, is very highly reflective. So when sound waves bounce off of it, it bounces off very quickly. So it shows up as a very bright image on the uh, ultrasound image, which is a, a grayscale. So it has uh, 264 colors of gray that you get an image from. And I taught at Kaiser University in the ultrasound program in Fort Lauderdale for about a year. And uh, taught ultrasound physics and introduction to vascular OBGYN, first, second, third trimester, abnormal and normal. Um, I did a short course on fetal echo, which uh, West Kentucky Community and Technical College, April 21st, I'm going to be one of the guest speakers, and enter the fetal echo is the uh, PowerPoint that I'm doing for them that I did for my OB class at that time. So uh, I'm excited about that. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> What's your favorite then? Oh, definitely doing the babies. I'm just yeah. gonna say that. It's yeah. hard to beat a baby, yeah. isn't it? Yes. <laughs> except, 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 
big set I and there's something there's, wrong. There's a tough days. Yeah. It, so, yeah. Well, you know, five percent is like something wrong. The rest are like great, but that's a really bad day when there's something wrong. So does different facilities just contract you out for a period of time to do stuff? Is that why you're going to Madisonville? Well, yes. I I also uh, am in conjunction with a company, a travel company, called Sono Temps, and they don't. They don't do just ultrasound. They do nursing and uh, x-ray and mammography, and, you know, they'll place anybody anywhere. So that was the first travel company that I went with to Bisbee, Arizona, which is uh, uh, 100 feet from the Mexican border, and a very eclectic, artsy-fartsy, 1960s hippies retire there. And it was very entertaining. I was there 11 and a half weeks. I liked it a lot. And uh, so I like sun attempts. I've worked with some other travel companies, I which I will not name, because um, sun attempts takes really good care of me, and I don't have to worry about anything. I just show up and work. They take care of everything, including housing and car if I need one, and you know, per diem and yeah. car allowance and mileage and all those good things. Uh, ultrasound PRN. When I work myself, I charge hourly and then I take care of all those things on my own. Right. So now that I'm vetted with uh, Baptist Health, which this place in Madison is Baptist Health, I can actually work at any of the 13 institutions that Baptist Health has, and I'm hoping Paducah will want me to come over and work with them, because they're really close. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. You rather do that than just be at the same facility day in day out? Absolutely. Yeah. You get to uh, not be part of all of the politics. Yeah. yeah. You're just there. You show up. You do you your do job. You keep immediate. your nose clean, and you are gone. Where'd you do your undergraduate and graduate school stuff that way? Miami Dade College. We were born and raised in Florida. I was born and raised in Miami, Florida. Yeah, that's cool. I have an international accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will say so there. And at the time, it was just Spanish and English, and now it is every language under the book down there. Yeah. Everything below Alligator Alley. You don't recognize any of those languages. I have a sister who lives in Fort Lauderdale, so. <laughs> what are guys hit a deer or something? Can't imagine. <laughs> what clues you send along there? Burns? I don't know. Well, he hasn't said nothing lately, and I haven't been touched. That's the first one in a while. Yeah, I've been lucky. Last week, my daughter hit one and my dad hit one. In the same week? I don't know. Matter of fact, it was. This is all that I can think of right now. Awesome. Uh, I'll leave my car. Awesome. Them. So, thank you. And you sell Mary Kay. That is my fun job. Oh, I've okay. done for 18 okay. years. Thank you, Tony. And yes, I drive a Cadillac, but it's blue. <laughs> thank you. I'm concerned. Yeah. I'll take a lot the county can do with it, but are we concerned? Sure. I'm smart enough to know that there's a huge tax base out there. Not just the plant. Right. All the money that's for well, All the down. employees. Mm -hmm. They pay taxes, they have yes. kids here, they spend money here. Right. Yeah, that makes me real concerned for the welfare metropolis in general. Not pretty. Is that cyclic, something that they do periodically, or is this... Not to this extreme, it's not. They've never, to my knowledge, well, in my, my memory, bought, bought the plant. I think they might have been through this 
shortly after they opened it. Yeah. Uh, uh, six, six, Start back up six to seven, I think. Maybe pretty well down about for three years. So. Yeah. So how did you land here if you're, with all your travels? And well, I married a gypsy, <laughs> and when he gets promoted, we move. And he moves me about three to four years. You might as well have married a military man. Well, uh, that's about what they. He's had high blood pressure since he was twenty, so the military wouldn't take him. Uh huh. Well, if you quit moving so much, maybe his blood pressure go down. <laughs> Sound like he's in the highest. Well, I, I made him not move for twelve years when the girls were little, and uh, that didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, his parents live right next door, and my parents were a mile away. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Trust me, it, it, it does. does. It could. Maybe you subcontracted your barn out. I know. Yeah, it's the bill. I don't know. Well, no, it's, uh, he added six hundred dollars oh. to for extra work. We are close to retirement, so I'm hoping that we keep this house because I really like this house a lot. So you're not going to go? What was it? Arizona, where you was just a couple miles, hundred feet from the border, or something? You oh, know, that was just a travel job. Oh, you want to know all the states that I've been to because of him? <laughs> all of them? <laughs> or just because of me? <laughs> Yeah, he moved me from, over, he moved me from, uh, let me see, I met you him in Tampa, then from Tampa we know. went to uh, Nacogdoches, Texas, and then Nacogdoches, no, we Texas, we went to we Royal Oak, Michigan, well, then Royal Oak, Michigan, we went okay. to Winter Haven, Florida, and that's where I wouldn't move for 12 years, and then from there we went to Northport, Florida, and then from Northport, Florida, we went to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and then Albuquerque went to Athens, Georgia. Oh, forgot Weatherford and Fort Worth, Texas. There was a right in between there. And then Athens, and then Athens to uh, Tallahassee, and then Tallahassee to Illinois. And that's just him. That doesn't include my travel. I count kind of about seven or eight different states there. Yeah, and, and then I went to uh, Oroville, California, and I went for travel jobs, and I went to the Bisbee one, and I went to um, uh, Coquille, Oregon, uh, Coos Bay, Oregon, and uh, uh, Vancouver, Washington, which is right across the river from Portland, and uh, I'm trying to think where else. Oh, I grew up in Miami. Northport was near Sarasota, so I worked there in Inglewood uh, for a while. I think I've run out of places now. You seen about all of it, huh? Well, not quite. I would like to go to uh, Montana and North Dakota and South Dakota, but I'll wait till the summer for that. You definitely will wait and go like June, last part of May, June. We went last year. Latter part of July and August, uh -huh. and I froze. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, I, we did a cruise in Alaska uh, five years ago on our 30th anniversary, and that was fabulous. And it was August, uh -huh. but it was still really cool. Yeah. yeah. And in South Dakota, the wind blows all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Very windy. And that wind is. Oh, we've been cool. in Wyoming. So yeah. we've been there, so it was really. Flat, but not a very. No, there's a lot of when they say wide open spaces, they mean it. Yeah, they. they there's they, nothing. They, yeah. They. <coughs> Mr. Farmer, are you related to Richard Farmer? Uh, no. No. He's a good man. He, he, he is. He's a, he's a very nice neighbor. Yeah, he lives up the bar. Yeah. All right. It's on the. Uh, 
agenda for us to dis discuss and pr or approve former employee medical claim. Let's give you an update. I'll just read here what it says. Uh, Deputy Penrod, he was a former, you know, employee. Right. Uh, Penrod should have. Let's see here. Uh, Penrod should have been enrolled on the county health insurance on January first, two thousand fourteen, but was not. They were requested to be enrolled, but was not. The premiums were deducted from his paycheck every pay period. Penrod included incurred two bills during this time when he was not enrolled. One on three thirteen seventeen for two twenty four which has not been processed by the health insurance, and one for 323.17 for 232, which has been processed by the health insurance and now has a balance of $62.32. On 21618, the medical provider sent a collection letter to Penrod requesting payment in full of the matter or would appear on his credit report, which would occur in the middle of April. Uh, Penrod has sent a letter requesting payment full by the county of the medical bills or return of premiums he had paid by the health insurance. Uh, Carol Jones of Mutual Medical has been contacted and gave a couple options. First, she explained that the bill has not been processed, could now be processed and reduced. The county then could direct Mutual Medical to pay 6232 and reduce the number of the other bill. This option creates the risk the other bill will not be processed in time for the county to pay to avoid the matter being placed on Penrod's credit report. Second option, the county could process the other claim and then do nothing, which would require Penrod to pay the balance. The third option would be, which is probably the best one for us, the county could direct mutual medical to pay the 6232 and the full amount of 224 to resolve this matter more quickly. So I guess what we're asking today is for the commissioners to make a motion to approve mutual medical to pay the $62.32 bill and the full amount of two twenty four. dollars the other bill. The full amount includes the sixty two, dollars correct? No, it's two different bills. Uh, originally, that two hundred, but originally it was two hundred thirty two, dollars and they negotiated it down to sixty-two thirty two. dollars Okay. The other one is two twenty four, dollars $224, which was on March 13, 2017. Uh, the issue is, if we try to let the mutual <coughs> medical negotiate that down, it's going to go to collections on his. Yeah, credit. we might not have, have enough time. We would owe that money anyhow, would we not? Or was that <coughs> was deductible, or no, should have been? No, I think he's met his deductible. This is what we're responsible for. Okay. The question would be, if we waited, that that number would probably go down from two twenty four. But the issue would be, we don't want to do that. I I personally don't. I don't it's know wrong. That. Why was? It, it, Where's the screw up on his insurance? Have we not addressed this before? Or what? Well, it was in this first, this first one that you read about. Yeah. Right? I can't figure out why we're deducting people's. I was the one that did that. I was doing payroll, and there was two people in that office, and things fall through the cracks. And I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just explaining. It happens. And as soon as it was brought to my attention, I rectified it. So, uh, it was lucky you did have a big point. So, if, uh, I think what we maybe would agree on is to authorize Medical Mutual to pay the 6232 mm -hmm. and then authorize them to go ahead and pay the $224 bill. That way, the matter is resolved and it's behind us and it doesn't affect him and it's over with. So, uh, do we need to send them an email, make a phone call right now and make sure that's done? Or well, we just hear me know what's going on? Or? Uh, we needed it in our minutes today, okay. and once we send that to Mutual Medical, they know that it's been approved by the commissioners and they cut the checks. Okay. That's what, uh, what's her name, Judy was saying, the treasurer's already set up. Okay, they're She's setting on go. They're setting on go, waiting on us to tell them. So, if we need that in the form of a motion, I will make that motion. All right. So we're making a motion to uh, direct med Mutual Medical to pay 62.32 and the full amount of the other bill for 224 to resolve this matter. I'll second that motion. Run that date by me again, Jason, just for, when did the date of service happen? That was when? <coughs> yeah, but, I mean, you get way on back there. I read so many dates, I yeah. can't keep them straight in my head. Uh,
Patrick is not in agreement with it. What way was that explained? I don't know if I remember it. Oh, it was, uh, when I found the error, I talked to Dave Cole, and we corrected the max rate, and he put in a prior adjustment from this year for next year. And the statutes are not black and white. They're kind of a gray area, and that's what Patrick is leery of. But I talked to Larry Reinhardt in Jackson County, and he is big in legislation and all like that. And he said that a few years ago they'd had a problem where one was the software had reverted back to an old max rate, and they had to do this to correct it. So they borrowed the money, and then they put a prior year adjustment on it to collect the money because it's according to these statutes, which I have them here, that's just how you fix it. And he said that it has to be fixed. But uh, like I say, Patrick says it's, it's just too great. So I don't know what you all want to do, but I've offered a way to fix it. And if, if you don't want to fix it that way, then I need to know how to fix it. So what's the way to fix it? What I said to borrow the money either in-house or a um, anticipation warrant and make that prior year adjustment. He said the borrow the money wasn't the issue, it's putting the prior year adjustment on. But the issue was paying back out. That's, that's it. Because yeah. see, the prior year adjustment would pay that back. So what's your suggestion on how to pay it back? It's the prior year adjustment on next year's taxes. Okay. That's the, the area that Patrick don't agree with. Yes. Okay. But you're saying other counties have, have done yeah, this? Yes, yes. On this, does it say by reasons other than administration of error? Administrative error? Yeah, but if you read it says further. administrative error includes but not limited to failure to include the extension for tax and districts on the tax bill. Error in the calculations of the tax rate. Would that follow under us calculation of tax rate? Yes. And then there's another statute below that that 
or the extension of mathematical error by the county clerk, or the effect of holding the warrant. Is this tower technology? Is this some um, um, that's software? Our, that's our software for financial. I'm assuming this is for hours of uh, go live assistance. Is what it says. Am I reading that right? Yeah, that was back early. Tech supports what I'm off, right? Yeah. That's probably what's the date on the service there? Uh, February twenty second and twenty fourth. Invoice is the twenty eighth. Mm -hmm. I think we went live on Who all was involved? Chrissy and JJ. Okay, so both offices. Right. So how are you going to are you going to split that between your two budgets then, or what's your plan there, uh, or do you have a plan? I don't have a plan because I had thought about that, but then, and it could be he just did Chrissy that day. I don't know. But well, it's two different days. Would this be considered a coding error? Uh, my opinion, but I don't know how one either looks at it. Is it a coding error? error? Yes, that was a code. Uh, and just, would that be a code that what the percentage? Mm, no, it's an actual right error. Mm -hmm. Coding error would be 
uh, like, for instance, MassAC Unit 1, Jock and Maple Grove would be a different code. And, yeah, that would be code. So what's the discussion on this and what's the plan? I'll pick on Patrick's brain. I was going to ask you guys to visit with him any on this. No, I will recently. So what you're suggesting is we wait and talk with Patrick and make a decision later, right? That's what myself would like to do. Yeah. Because I haven't visited with him for a while on it. So. so. I, 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 this is hard for me to understand. But I mean, thank you for my, uh, we're going to have to borrow the money to correct it, correct? Uh, what have we got today? we got to have a way to pay that money back, though. Really. That's the question. Mm -hmm. we, we can borrow it, but we got to we'll pay it back. we got to mm -hmm. legally have a way to pay it back, and that's the question. And there's only certain things we can borrow for. But... We can't. Talk about that on taxes. I don't know. Whether, I don't know what we can or cannot. But I know that we, in anticipation, mm -hmm. warrant. I know there's some do's, do's and don'ts and cans and, and not cans. Yes. I just don't know what they are. Well, we, we don't. I need the money till August. Is that correct? Don't have to have it till then. Up and up. I don't know if we can make it to August or not. But June, my Junish would be my guess. Three. Well, she'd said August to me, but I don't know why she said that. That would be over half, you know, a year. Over table on this till you all can talk to Patrick. Further investigations. Okay. Good. Good deal. Thank you. <coughs> I think they're going to work on one side of the courthouse, and they had asked to maybe have the road blocked over there, maybe over by your area where y'all park. Uh, do you want us to get with Marsha and have her coordinate that with them, or do you want to talk to Marsha? Or the city? Block the whole road off. We're not going to go around the courthouse. That's what they told us. Uh, do we actually own that road or is the city on that? I would say the city would have to be involved in that. Yeah. Uh, we'll tell him that, I'll have to call Harry and talk to him to see. Okay. Uh, the chemicals that they're going to use is liable to mess up paint on cars. Did you hear what he said? It's, it's a chemical issue they're worried about maybe getting on cars tomorrow when yeah. they're spraying. So we definitely don't want our cars sitting over there either, don't believe. No, so we're we just want to make sure the employees and the sheriff's cars aren't in harm's way. Okay. Uh, let me run by Harry and have him call the mayor so they at least they know and see what we can do to shut, to shut that side of the road off. Yeah, if they can help us out, please. All right. Okay. Bill Peter, Jason, yeah. Yeah. That's what they said. Yeah. yeah. You know, it looks like they put that two way this temporary, couldn't they? If what? You put this a two way over here? I mean, I, I think what they'd have to do is just shut up right here, just have people just go around. Well, they're going to have to shut it off at the stop sign to keep people from coming this way, shove them that way or that way. That's right. Yeah. Six Street. I guess so, yeah. We'll call Marcia too. Because I'm working tomorrow and I won't be able to stay on top of that. So, as long as I'm too now, it won't be. But hopefully she will listen. You think that she is? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> right before it's forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Six, one, 